This is a pirate's review of the Anvil Gladiator. This is a two-seater fighter bomber with a hull HP of 10,000, which matches the Cutlass Black. Two size one shields, two size three guns for the pilot, two size three guns for the gunner. There are also four size five torpedoes. There are also four missile bays, which can accommodate up to 16 size ones or eight size twos or four size threes. Now you can see ample upper visibility with a very nice clear view of the lower MFDs. Uh, this comes in handy while it may be a little bit more difficult to land the ship. It's very nice to be able to see everything that's going on in the MFDs. You'll also notice that the ship presents a very wide flat view from the top and bottom, which can be a disadvantage, especially against light fighters. But this is more than made up for by the very narrow front and rear to the ship and the incredible hull HP for its size and maneuverability. So here we are, Port Olisar. We've come in, me and my gunner, to try and do the Backford Blood mission, where you kill eight Navy Starmen. But in a second we're about to be interloped by two band hunters, each in a gladius. We'll find out just how effective the gladiator is against players. As you can see, it's very effective against NPC ships. The amount of DPS this produces with four size three guns is quite good. Engage our first player. So, as you can see, the top speed of the Gladiator is quite slow, and this is its primary disadvantage in combat, especially in piracy, where either running or catching up to targets is quite important. So, my typical strategy is to Accelerate to full speed, decouple, and shoot the he's missiles he's yeah. backwards yeah. into the pursuer. Yeah, Typically, when you're a pirate, he he the people that you're <laughs> most going to want to take down are band hunters who are trying to pursue you. These are very motivated targets, so this kind of strategy of decoupling and firing backwards can prove very effective. It's ambient light or red, red light. Yeah, pushing in. Size fives are slightly overkill for any target smaller than um, size two. 2. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I typically go with the size two missiles against any light fighter. Hits. Immediately the shield goes down on the gladius. Skipping ahead to the actual dogfight, uh, Rockwell has had a chance to repair, just brought a friend. We have another person backing us up slightly, but uh, it's the main target. You can see that we do a decent job of defending ourselves. You may also notice that the Gladiator lacks some maneuverability to keep up with the Gladius. We should be no surprise as the Gladius is the best light fighter in the game. Yeah, this is the guy is 
They should show you that a turret gunner is needed to face any decent light fighter. You also see us tanking a couple of missiles. It's very easily done with such a high LHP. Kind of in a slot here. You're not just counting me. Yeah. Okay, he's back. Very bad situation for us to be in. The shields are low or down. The shields are still just about up. We're able to take a little bit of fire on our hull. Come out of it with no problem. Dragonhub's coming back. The shields are back up. Again, we get the shields down and the hull red. I think he will disengage. But due to the I lack of acceleration and very low yeah. top speed, lower Watch than a hammerhead, we are unable to chase and really finish Watch people off very easily. Uh, Hero would rely on the missiles. Watch out. One funny quirk of the Gladiator is that it's relatively easy sure. for the size 5 Thank missile you. base to be shot off. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's unfortunate, but not a huge drawback when you're engaged in combat. And in the end, we're just about able to make up the distance yeah, I know. and get the kill. Is the Anvil Gladiator fit for piracy? The Anvil Gladiator is a fantastic ship. You can fly it solo and still stand a chance against bounty hunters. You can fly it with a gunner and be very competitive against any ship in the game. With the size fives, especially with the new changes to missiles, you're able to have a good effect on larger ships. The only issue with the Anvil Gladiator is its terrible top speed and slow acceleration. Piracy almost necessitates the ability to catch up to your prey, and unfortunately with a top speed of 970, this is simply not going to happen. The top speed is roughly the same as Corsairs, it is slower than a Redeemer, it's slower than several cargo ships. In, in the game, it's slower than every fighter, and the G-forces that this ship can pull are simply not good enough to make up for it. For this reason, I consider the Anvil Gladiator one of the more underrated ships in the game, perhaps the most underrated, but I'm unable to recommend it as a piracy mainstay. This ship is very good for taking down larger targets as part of a group, but it will require interceptors to support it in its role. That said, rest assured, if you do take out the Anvil Gladiator into a skirmish, you will not be out of place. <laughs>